Here they want us to express negative 3 times the square root of 48 in simplest radical form. All they're asking you to do is to pull out all the perfect square factors of 48. Now the easiest way to do that, I think, is to use prime factorization. You don't always need to do this, it's just that you, want, you don't want to leave any perfect square factors hidden in 48, and you want to find them in as fast and, and efficient a way as possible. So this is how we do it. Right? Prime factorization, you just find the factors of 48. Pick anything. 2 times 24. Now when you reach a prime factor like 2, I circle it and know that branch is done. 24 can still be factored out. I factor it out to 4 times 6. 4 can still be factored to 2 times 2, so I'm circling these prime factors, and 6 is 2 times 3. What does this mean? Well, it means that 48 can be thought of as 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4th power times 3. But what's nice is you can think of, you know, 2 to the 4th, you might realize, is this symmetrical type of number in the sense that you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Right, there's these two symmetrical pairs of twos, which are each fours, which means the square root of this thing is just going to be half of the amount of twos you have, which is always a nice way of doing it, I think. Which means here the square root is just two times two or four. But really, I mean, you might not recognize that. Just expand. Two to the fourth is sixteen. And we have sixteen times three. I'm not going to multiply sixteen times three to get back to forty-eight. I'm just going to rewrite this. So it says negative 3 times, instead of the square root of 48, we can take the square root of each factor. It's a nice rule we can use here. So that is the same thing. We haven't changed anything. The idea is if you're taking the square root of some number, a times b, it's equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. You can, you can break up a number into its factors. So if you're taking the square root of a big number, you can or a, a, any number that has a perfect square factor, take the square root of the factors and multiply them, which is exactly what we're doing here. The square root of 16 is just 4. So now we have negative 3 times 4 times the square root of 3, and that's negative 12 times the square root of 3, which is written like this, and that's what we get. All right, hope this helped.